What's happening folks? Welcome to another episode. As always, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm out here by myself, but we are going to do a catch and cook, or we're going to attempt to. Uh, my wife, uh, when I left the house, she was like, bring some fish back. So happy wife, happy life, right? So I got I to gotta produce. Fishing's been kind of tough lately, and so keeper fish have been tough to come by. And so today we're going to hit some neighborhood canals first. They just opened up trout season. May try to get us some trout. If we can't get us trout, we're going to move it on out. Maybe try for some sheep's head, redfish, pompano, or really just whatever we can catch to bring home and cook for dinner. So let's go make it happen. All right, guys, we're going to do cast number one here and check it out. We've got us some live shrimp, and we're going to try that. And if that don't work, we'll get us some artificial lures going in here. So all I'm doing, guys, is I'm throwing this live shrimp out, and I'm kind of just watching my line. I've got one already. Got one. Oh, he just hit it. He just hit it and missed it. Dang it. All I'm doing is watching my line, and when that line takes off, there he is. There's a good one. First fish of the day, boys. That's a nice fish, too. It's a nice fish. All right, I got to get the net here. I did bring a net today, guys. We got our brand new Ego net right here. <laughs> so I am not going to forget a net any longer. Oh, it's a little red. A little red fish. Check that out. All right. That circle hook that I've got. A lot of you ask about that, that circle hook right here. Hook them right in the corner of the mouth every single time if you do it right. Well, that's a pretty little redfish. Look at that blue tail, man. All right, we're gonna let you go, boss. That live shrimp never fails right here, folks. It is always a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's see if we can get him back out there. Want one a little bit bigger or a trout or something like that. Oh, there he is. There he is. He just hit it right here, guys. We got him. Oh, yeah, he's on it. There he is. There's a good one. There's a good one. There's a nice one. Okay. There may be our keeper. Oh, that's a keeper. Let me get the net. Let me get the net. All right, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's dinner. Maybe. He's going to be close. Ah, he may be a little short. So guys, in the state of Florida, these trout have to be 15 inches long. This guy is right on the 15 inch mark. I'm gonna let him go just because I want one a little bigger here. So that's two casts, two fish right here. I'd say that's a pretty good start. All right, come on, big fish. We gotta get us a big keeper now. Uh, again, guys, it's just free lining. I'm just throwing it out and I'm watching my line. And when that line takes off, you just start reeling with that circle hook. That's all you gotta do. Oh, come on, there he is. There he is, there he is, good one. There he is, there he is. Ah, he's a little guy, I think. Yep, that's a little guy here. So this is just a little guy here, but I have never been one to discriminate when I'm catching fish. Man, when you get the opportunity to come out here and enjoy the outdoors like this, who cares if they're big or if they're small? It doesn't matter. Let him go. This is gonna be a big one right here, I got a feeling. I'm gonna see if I'm skillful enough to fish with two rods at the same time here. I've got my live shrimp set out and I'm gonna throw a lure real quick. First cast with a lure. First cast with a lure, guys, unbelievable. Oh, he came off, dang it. Man, maybe we're onto something right here. Felt like a decent one too. All the while, I got one on my shrimp. I didn't even know it. I'm sitting here throwing the lure and I got one on the shrimp. Good gracious. That's what I get for fishing two rods at a time. He doesn't feel big. Okay, another. 13 inch trout. It's okay, man, we're having action. My wife may not be happy if I don't catch any keepers, but we're having action. I was just kidding about that, guys. Melanie wouldn't care if I caught keepers or didn't catch keepers. She's a sweetheart. There he is, there he is on the lure, on the lure. Coming at the boat, coming at me, coming at me. Foul hooked, little guy. 
Oop, oop, oop. I got one on the shrimp too. I got two fish on at once, boys. Two fish on at once right here. Two fish on at once. Oh, he came off. Now I like hooking these shrimp in the tail. <clears throat> a lot of people hook them through the head and I do both. However, hooking them through the tail, they seem to jump around and act super erratic. And I get a lot of action that way. Oop, there he is, getting a bite. Come on, take it. Take it, take it, take it. There he is, there he is guys, there's a nice one. There he is. God, he's small. What's that? Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Same with me. So there's a ton of boat traffic in here right now, guys, and I'm thinking that that might affect the bite. We're gonna see, we're gonna let it settle down for a minute and see, and if it does, we're, if it does affect the bite, we're gonna move it on to another area. There he is, there he is. Got him, okay, what is this? He's, he must be foul hooked. Look at this, he sure is. He ate that, uh, he tried to eat, look at that guys, he tried to eat my Tsunami Holographic Swim Bait and I hooked him right in the belly. All right, we gotta put a, some dinner in the boat, man. Not only am I getting hungry, but I promised Melanie some fish. We may got one there. There he is, there he is. Not a big one, another small, small guy. Redfish, redfish. Another redfish here, guys. Just a, uh, just a little dude. Still a pretty little redfish, look at that. Ah, I got a feeling we're about to get a good one. I got a feeling, all right? My feelings are usually spot on, so. He just got hit, and I don't know if he's on, but he definitely just got hit. There he is. There he is. He's a little guy, man. What a dink. Another redfish. Look at that. Redfish number three. And <laughs> this guy is so small. It's so awesome, though, to see these little guys here like this, man. That means that uh, these redfish regulations are working. And uh, man, it is just, I'm, I'm loving seeing these little redfish around. Everybody complains about tight regulations, but man, our fishery is coming back. Look how many fish I'm catching right here. Just about every single cast, I'm catching a fish. So it's not always about putting meat in the freezer, even though I would like one to keep today. Sometimes it's just about the sport and coming out here and enjoying it. And that's exactly what I'm doing. All right, let's see if we can do that again, man. It seems like every time, I get it in this one spot, it's a redfish. There's a good one, there's a good one, there's a good one guys, right here. Here we go. Good fish. If it's not a redfish, this may be a keeper trout. Ah, redfish. <laughs> it's funny when you're over there complaining that it's a redfish. <laughs> See ya buddy. There's gotta be a keeper in here. There's so many fish. There, it's just like, man, you just got to weed through the small guys, which is fine, but not when I'm trying to catch, catch dinner. Oop, there's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite. There he is. Okay guys, this may be him. I don't know. I don't know. This may be him. I think this is him, guys. If it's not a redfish, this is him. Oh, yeah, that's him. 100% sure. 100% sure. Yes, sir, baby. Come on. Let me get the net. Let me get the net. Come on. This is a good fish right here, boys. Come on. Yes, sir, baby. 
check this out guys he's he's actually gonna be six a little over 16 that is a keeper did you catch anything so i was able to get one keeper i caught a bunch of fish but only able to get one keeper oh what kind uh speckled trout i mean if it's small you know maybe we could do it like whole and fried or we can do whole and bake it okay i'll see you soon bye Okay. So I have a pretty good feeling that Melanie is going to want to cook this fish whole. So that means all I'm going to do is gut it and scale it and just kind of get it ready for. Because trout are a really good fish to cook whole. You can bake them whole, you can fry them whole. Now I don't know that that's what she's going to do with it but I'm going to leave this option open just in case and that's why we're getting rid of all the guts right here. I also want to get rid of the scales and you can just do that with the back of your knife. See how they're coming right off? It's super easy to scale a, a trout. So I washed him off pretty good and there he is. We've got a whole trout and we can bake him, we can fry him whole, or I can fillet him if that's what she wants to do. So I'm leaving the options open. Hey guys, so you just saw Brant catch the trout. Let's go ahead and cook it. So it's scored right now, and I am gonna take some melted butter and lemon juice, and we're gonna put it everywhere, all over, and literally just you need that in your fridge like every day anyway. And then I took some almond flour, some breadcrumbs, some dill, paprika, and we're gonna sprinkle it on everything. I wish you could smell this. And I also want to put it inside the fish. So try to really get in there because this is our seasoning. Of course, we're gonna do salt and pepper too. Get it everywhere. And a little bit of salt. Let's go ahead and put this in our hot pan. This may smoke, so just be careful. So what I want to do is just brown the fish for about four minutes, then I'm going to put it in the hot oven and cook it for about 10 minutes longer, but until it's completely cooked through. Okay, I think it's finished. I tested it a minute ago. Look at that. And you can see it's just flaking so well. I told you guys that Melanie was going to have something creative up her sleeve. And this fish over here looks like unlike any fish I've ever eaten. So I'm actually super excited. I'm going to let you uh, okay. take a bite real quick and just right. give me your thoughts. And then I will dive in next. What comes through the most is the dill. And a little bit of spice. I have a little bit of cayenne in there. But I mean, it's just so tender. I'm going straight for the fish. Like I didn't even get a plate. I'm going right here. That is super fresh. I love the crunchiness that all that, the spices, I don't even know what it is but I love the crunchiness of it. That's super good. Nothing is better than getting the opportunities like we get to be, have the access to the water right here and be able to jump in a boat super quick, go out, catch our fish real quick like this, bring it home, have Melanie cook it up for us. She's a phenomenal cook. I mean, uh, you know, hey, I am truly, truly blessed 
and I do not take this for granted. This is awesome. Hey guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.